Ah, uh, the year was 2008. Overhead projectors were still being rolled out. PictoChat and MSM were my main forms of communication. The only type of responsibility I had was looking after my Tamagotchi and making sure I saved all my hard work on Animal Crossing so I didn't get the angry mole. Cereals were still providing top quality toys. The little paperclip would always pop up on Word documents. I got a buzz off creating glorious work of art in paint. And if you missed your TV show, you missed it. I still believe that ink erasers were made from pig's wee. I had a vast collection of beanie babies and would be debbed every time one of the heart tags got ruined. I would sneakily watch the mighty boosh and ugly better with my sister, even though it was definitely too old for my age. Everyone stayed in on Saturday nights from September to December to watch the X Factor and was thoroughly involved with who the winner would be. Alexandra Burke, FYI. Hey party people! What's up, what's up, what's up? So, today is going to be a really... It's going to be a good time. And if you have a childhood, then you're going to be... Holy goodness me. Dad tried to pull my, my little mirrors back, but um, they don't need that because they're like automatic ones. Anyway, so if you've had a childhood, you're gonna enjoy today's video because it involves childhood activities. So basically, 2008, the year Grace was thriving. Actually, I think it's more 2007 or 2006. Okay, it's gonna be a hybrid, but we're just gonna call it 2008 because that was the year that I go from year six to year seven and it was all happening, do you know what I mean? I was thinking of all the things that I used to do and I was so content as a child. I mean, I'm still very content now. And I wanted to do some of the things that I did as a child. So I'm gonna try and live like a little day in the life of Grace as a little, a little 10 year old, shall we say. We're gonna start off the morning by going swimming because I used to bang out swimming every Saturday. I love that stuff. I would ask all my friends to go. The only problem is I used to walk to swimming or catch the bus. However, we have moved since I was a child and we no longer live in that area. So I'm gonna have to drive and I would obviously as a child get my parents to drive me. But I'm not gonna make my parents ferry me around at the tender age of 22 when I have a car because that would just be foolish. So we're gonna drive to swimming now. The exact same swimming bag I had as a child. This is it right here. So it turns into a towel. I don't know if I've showed you this guy's before. I'll show you later. But it turns into a towel and it's the coolest thing ever. And I got it for my birthday when I was in year six and I still use it to this day. We've got many things to do today. Many things that are going to be wild and wonderful. And I'm so excited to take you guys along. So here I am getting prepared for swimming, taking my little sliders off. And oh, getting the tracksuit bottoms off because you always go swimming with your swimming costume underneath. They don't have to faff about in the changing room. And then I went, put my goggles on because. I can't swim with my eyes open underwater and I wish I could. So attractive. Anyway, then I got into the pool. I'm so proud of myself for doing this little bit of sneaky filming. I've never seen myself swimming before, so it just looks very interesting, doesn't it? And then I had a little bit of trouble with my goggles today. I don't know if my head's changed shape or something, but they kept riding up my head. Normally I don't have that issue because I still go swimming now, but I don't know what's occurring. It was just causing me some real gripe and it was quite annoying but anyway i did a few laps had a good time and then i washed myself and got ready for the rest of the day oh here it comes out you get uh, hey i just got out of the pool the next mission of the day is getting dressed because i'm gonna take you through i don't dress that different from how i dressed when i was a kid actually that's a lie there are some things that have stayed exactly the same as to when I was a kid, but some things that have changed completely. Um, and one of the things in particular that I've worn ever since I was literally six has been dungarees. They've stuck around for a good time. So we're going to do that. I think we're going to do dungarees today. But I'll insert some pictures on the screen of some good, some good outfits that I had back in my day. Thing is, I don't actually have any pictures from my childhood from about the age of seven to 13 because my parents couldn't afford like the disposable cameras. So we didn't really get those. And then we got a digital camera and then the computer corrupted all our files. So I literally have no pictures, which is why I think I vlog so much. And we didn't have a video camera when I was younger um, for my whole, so I, what was my voice like as a child? No clue, not one single Scooby-Doo. And then we need to get started on the first activity of the day, which is a massive fat throwback, which I hope they have in the shops. Hi, hi. <laughs> that was a bit vulgar. That was not necessary. I'm sorry, everyone. 
if you move one more time i'm gonna um anyway hello everyone so we've gotten home and we're dressed in the dungarees and a striped top because to be honest that has been my uniform since i've been a kid and it's never changed i am fueled and ready to go for our mission because i feel like it's going to be a mission i'm looking for something i can never find it are ye brussels sprout crisps if you were here back in december when i had about 10k subscribers you'll know starbucks cup to be honest just loads of things in my life it never goes the way i want oh, i've forgotten to do my hair we'll do my hair when i get back home because the hair of grace in school is very very specific i had a very specific vibe it was very long my hair was so long I always had plaits in uh all the time i every single basically every single picture school picture i had plaits in and then i went to bunches bunchy with plaits was my favorite i loved it when i had high bunches and plaits i hated low bunches they were my least favorite thing whenever my mum did bunches and plaits my hair used to be really thick it's not thick anymore but it used to be so thick and she would do the plaits so tight that they would almost like curl around and look like they had wire in because they were so thick i hated bumps i absolutely categorically would get so mad if I had bumps in my hair. 1008 Grace is that. I wish I had pictures from that time other than school pictures. Like I would, there was this top that I got from Next, right? And each section of the top had a different thing on it. Like it was a pattern. And that was my favorite, favorite top. And I just wish there was a picture of me with it because I'd love to see what it looked like and be able to like recreate it. Also, I think my mum did my hair like this because she didn't want me to get nits because if you know, knits were awful. Thoroughly comb my hair for any knits. Whenever that letter went out, being like, someone at the school has got knits. My mum would literally comb my hair. And it was the most painful procedure. Oh my gosh, I love it. I feel so young and free. Oh, I love it. Also, when I was a kid, I barely watched TV. However, 2008, I believe it was 2008, was when we got Sky. We got a free year of Sky somehow. I think they were doing like a tester. So we got a free year of Sky, which when I got Disney Channel. Boy, I was a changed woman when I got Disney Channel. I feel like I look like a child. I look so funny. I kind of love it. What do you think? That's very you. Reminds me of when you were three. Oh, you have to find that photo. I'm going to try and find the picture. Photo. I'm going to. Don't I literally look like me back in the day? Little girl. With no gap. I always had gaps here, didn't I? Yeah. I never had teeth here. I was literally like. <laughs> We're going on a hunt for probably the thing that sticks in my memory. Actually, there are many things. I feel like I'm not going to be able to cover all the things that I want to in this vlog because there are so many things that I want to cover. It is the ultimate, the pièce de résistance, Scooby Doo's, the best invention ever for children they kept me entertained and i was actually quite uh talented in the scooby-doo realm i'm not gonna lie to you anyway we're gonna go into town try and get some scooby-doos which i don't even know if they're a thing anymore i really don't know also my face doesn't my face look different video i'm not going to be showing you what i used to eat as a kid because i think if you've enjoyed this then we could do a what i eat in a day 2008 edition oh my gosh as well we could do a week of me dressing like my 10 year old self sometimes my brain overwhelms me and there are just so many thoughts and ideas in there and sometimes i just feel like oh, i don't even know what i'm saying at this point but we need to go into town and Ty's walking by my car. i don't know if you can see them there did you see them looks like King richard we've arrived and i actually had i'm not gonna lie this video has really made me think about my life and when I, you've only seen my life for about a year. I had 21 years where you didn't have a Scooby who I was and I was just there living my little life. You could do a little dance party of all the songs but flipping copyright is a poo face. Also using the vocabulary of a 10 year old and that's never changed. Actually, 10 year olds nowadays use foul language. Anyway, besides the point, right, let's go. I really pray that they have Scooby-Doo's or a Klutz book. Klutz books were also my main Christmas and birthday presents for my childhood years. I loved them. The, my favorite ones were the Kaleidoscope ones, Quentin Blake drawing one. I had quite a few, I had a collection. Oh my gosh, Tamagotchis. Oh my gosh, my DS. I played on Animal Crossing. Oh my gosh. Off I went on the hunt for a Scooby-Doo and as you know I got distracted in the works with all the craft books because 
actually haven't changed much since 2008 and I still love craft things. Um, this one really took my fancy. I would have loved that as a kid. I then went into WH Smith's and also got distracted by the pencil cases. There were some great ones in the world. I then went to another store, which is like a stationery store, and found Bop It. Now I was a Bop It professional. I loved Bop It. And this video is just bringing back so many, so many memories. Of course, not one Scooby-Doo in sight. I don't know if they're just not a thing anymore. I got some cola laces. They didn't even have strawberry laces. Not bitter about it in the slightest. No, not so bitter. Me about not being able to buy something that was on my brain. No. Not so many memories were sparked on my way in the shops. These are on home and I'm going to try and make a Scooby-Doo out of these cola laces because basically one year my brother sister and I got laces, strawberry laces in our stockings, in our Christmas stockings. So we made Scooby-Doo's out of our strawberry laces because we would just, we'd run out of Scooby-Doo's, it was the Christmas holidays and we just wanted to get thrifty so we all made Scooby-Doo's out of our strawberry laces. I'm not sure. Anyway, we need to go because I just keep talking about flipping nothing. Here is a time lapse of me trying to learn how to do a Scooby-Doo because I was concentrating so very much that I didn't say anything and it was kind of boring of me just trying to learn how to do the Scooby-Doo, um, but I had a lot of fun. Um, I don't think I can remember how to do this and I'm trying to get a tutorial up, but it's just not going right. I don't know if it's because it's the cola laces and they're all merging into one, whereas all the tutorials have like the different colors to help set it apart, but you know what? Can't work out how to do it. I was a little genius. A little genius. Evidently, Scooby Doo's is something that I've lost the knack of, unfortunately. Should we crack out the Heelys now? Now, obviously, a few things I did when I was younger were things like Club Penguin. The Disney Channel is basically my favourite website, particularly Phineas and Ferbus's Candace Cowabonga. That was like my favourite game. But I've come upstairs to see if um, I have any of my Klutz books left. But basically, our fam my family's really brutal and we don't keep things. We literally throw things away and I'm so sad because there were so many diaries I had as a kid and I've thrown them all away and I wish I'd never done that because I would love to read one back. Obviously you already know this but hammer beads were also one of my favourite things to do. Basically any crafting kit was like a good, a fun thing for me to do. And another fun fact, we didn't have this gorgeous girl did we? Oh, I had when I was my 11th birthday. We got some guinea pigs, some Abyssinian guinea pigs called Fifi and Flo. However, unfortunately, they got eaten by foxes. You are so flipping cute. Oh my goodness. I got Oh, licky, licky. Have a belly rub, don't you? Shalom. So it's time. I've decided it's an appropriate time to crack out the Heelys. I won't lie. Didn't I live in my Heelys? I scooted around. Weirdly enough, I never hurt myself on them. I feel like that's the sort of thing I would have hurt myself with. Oh, actually, 2008 was a big year for me because I broke my shoulder in the snow because that was a year full of snow. There was a lot of snow that year. You broke it in the snow because you were trampolining on a snow-filled trampoline. Yeah, don't go on a trampoline in the snow. It's very foolish. Don't do it. It was probably the year that these all got banned actually because they were banned in shopping centres. I think they came out around 2006, but then by 2008 they had been banned for like shopping centres and stuff. I was gutted because the floor in shopping centres was the best to glide on. Why is this not a form of transport? I wish adults just scooted around on me. The thing is, if I wore this, people might actually genuinely think I'm just a tall child, so they wouldn't judge the Heelys as much, right? I wish I could learn some cool tricks on these. In case you wanted to know, I got these on eBay for about 11 quid a few years ago, because obviously my feet have grown since 2008. Good, screw it. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, wow. That is incredible. Um, that, that is incredible. Right, I'm putting you in here and I'm going to glide through I'm here. Okay, ready? Actually, another thing about 2008, I had my pajama game was strong in 2008 because 2000, I'm not even joking, kids pajamas are so much better than adults pajamas and I'm bitter about it. Why can't kids pajamas be like adult ones? I'm gonna just say it. I'm not even joking. What I would love more than anything is to bring out my own merch of pajamas and make them the softest quality, the most comfortable, beautiful pajamas you could ever think of 
but for actual older people. Because I'm not going to lie, it still rages me. Just because I'm not small anymore, I'm not a child, doesn't mean I want, don't want comfortable pyjamas, okay? Oh my, I'm in my element. Flipping love it. Oh my gosh, if I'd have had these. Why didn't I use these at uni? Where? Here. It's done. What? Oh, that's risky. Flipping heck, man. Don't try to do tricks on Healy's, you will regret it. I live my best life when I'm in Healy's. If I had a meet up, would you all wear Healy's and we could go to like a skate park? And just skate around. Okay, so to be honest, that was basically a day in my life in 2008 because I would just do those things over and over again. But then I would also play on my DS a lot and go out with my friends to the park, that sort of thing. But that was basically my standard day. Video sparks so many thoughts. I was talking to my brother about all the things he remembers, and obviously he was two years older. And just those two years had such a difference in our childhood. Like he was talking about Beyblades, which I do remember, and we were talking about all the food and like the things we used to play with. Crazy bones, oh my gosh, so many things. If you do want to see a day in my life in 2008 food edition or dress in like my 2008 self or something like that, maybe this for like 2010, 2012. To be honest, I still think I'm in 2012. How was it 2019? Blows my mind. I've enjoyed this, it was just a silly little vlog and I cut this down one hour 45 minutes because I literally just kept rambling about my childhood and things that I felt really nostalgic about so I'm sorry it's a bit long but I just couldn't help because I want to know what you guys remember from 2008 maybe in different countries tell me if you had scooby-doos or not um anyway hope you enjoy peace out love you loads